Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we attempted to help out our brother-in-law and or half-brother and future liege communism. Uh, unfortunately some of our plans did not go as planned. We attempted to invade and subjugate this area of Tuedahuen to add whatever place. <laughs> no chance I'm able to pronounce this place. But anyways, we tried to take over. Unfortunately, we kind of underestimated his use of... That he had pretty much, you know, 500 prestige. And was able to call forth a tribal army. That kind of ruined our whole plan here. So, I wasn't paying attention to that. So, we really weren't able to take that location. Good news, though, is that we did take a couple locations for the Kingdom of Denmark. We have expanded into this location up here, as well as a little bit into France. So, as you can see right now, the Kingdom of West Francia is really in turmoil. It's uh, pretty much comprised of this right now. A couple of locations are currently occupied, and then you have this big sort of... Uh, Oh, Aquitaine. Okay, so that's not an uprising, but that's actually a separate whole area there. Okay, interesting. Anyways, we only have a few years left in our life, I would assume anyways. So pretty much we're going to try and use this to kind of build up our forces a little bit and maybe make another attempt over here in Ireland. Let's see, if we were to attack this guy... He's almost at the 500 prestige, so that could be bad. What about her? She's well past it. So probably our best bet is to try and do this again on... Un... Actually... Oh, I have to be able to lose that much prestige here. So it looks like we're just going to be holding our own for the moment. Probably want to set up another raiding force, though. Now, one thing that we are doing is we are sending our seer and our, let's see, our steward are out in Desmond here. Their overall goal is to change the religion and the culture in this area. If we can do that, should help us out a little bit. All right, let's look at some of our things here. We have a weak claim to the Jarldom of Oskaland. Unfortunately, we are in no way able to take on his forces there, so. You have a new heir. Oh crap, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh wait, no. Okay, phew. For a moment I was afraid that communism died. So why do we have a new heir then? Uh, let's see. So Sterla, our son. Can I nominate the king, maybe? So, Solvina, uh, I guess we'll probably just... Let's see, Sterla. I would have thought that it would have automatically gone to communism. We'll nominate communism just to see what happens. Doesn't look like it's going to do anything, though. Because Sterla has the most support, so... Unfortunately. And we have gained the diligent traits. So our intrigue's looking pretty good here. I guess our overall goal should be kind of expanding out a little bit. I'm looking through some of this stuff to see potential heirs. Let's see. So she... Oh, how did she become... A vassal. That's interesting. Apparently Bleckenge must have some manner of... Uh, must have something here that allows her to, you know, be in control. Well, you know what? We're going to try and grab Bleckenge for ourselves here. So, we're going to open up a plot against her. Might as well change from hunting to the intrigue focus. And we'll go back and auto-invite people 
to join this plot, and then hopefully we'll be able to take her out. My body may be sapless and infirm, but my mind is as healthy as ever. Oh crap, I'm infirm. But I still have a lot of intrigue power, so... <laughs> That's at least something. Do I have a regent right now? I probably should. I might as well, since this guy is going to be our heir. Make him regent, I think. Oh, who's our current regent, then? Domain size... You know what? Let's increase centralization, I think. Because everyone will support it. It'll increase our domain size, so that'll be good for our future heir. Danish conquest of Ermuhain. And it looks like we can offer to join this war, so why not? Alright, where are we going to war with anyways? Oh! It looks like, uh... <laughs> our, uh, liege was already thinking the same thing. I guess that works then. Alright, let's bring forth our forces here. Gody Tok has let me know the plot to kill her. The person we're focusing on is proceeding well. She will die by poisoned wine. Interesting. Did they seriously send eight troops over to here? Everyone at court loves your dog, especially the children. Well, that's a good sign, I guess. All right, away we go to join this battle. Ooh, they got a lot of forces there. Oh, that's a Lollard Uprising. Okay. So they won't necessarily be against us. This poor little county of Desmond keeps being attacked. The corruption crept up on me slowly. I did not realize what was happening to me before it was too late. The dark tendrils of hell's magic had invaded my mouth and twisted around my tongue. As I attempt to speak, my words fail me, making social interaction awkward and the casting of spells tedious and draining. Uh, I gain a stutter. Interesting. I'm trying to look and see where stutter is. There it is. Hurts diplomacy, but it helps with people who have the same trait, but... Doesn't look like it's anything I really need to worry about too much. So we have this big Tokes host fleet. Some big raiding force here. Oh, it looks like they're maybe coming from Sweden? What's going on here? Tekken King Hellander Swedish Rivalry War? I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Hooray! I'm no longer wounded. I'm looking at my intrigue thing to see if there is anything that I can do to uh, maybe become a little bit like I guess a little bit better or whatever as far or not better sorry brain farts I was looking for a way to see if I could ask my liege for land unfortunately it doesn't seem to be an option right now
Oh, I suppose I should get Sterla here married. What are his options? She is ambitious. Craven. Not necessarily something we need to worry about on a girl. I would like to get something or someone. Oh, great. We're going to have a lunatic heir. <laughs> That's always lovely. <laughs> She's 10. Five, and then the one up here is eight. I guess we'll go for the one who's ten. And then in a few years, they'll be ready to go. Observe the young girly. <laughs> girly is her name. And <laughs> she's a girl. Usually try to stay out of the way of others. My courtier. She shouldn't try too hard. I'm fine with her being content. And now there's a peasant revolt. And of course, it's showing up like right in our territory. And our king wants us to join, so why not? Alright, we're going to move our fleet out here so that we can move our forces around a little better. Yay, the county of Desmond has changed to Norse culture. That's always a good thing. Reduces our chance of potentially uh, losing anything there. And what else can I do with him? I can build Legend, which builds up my prestige. And it might raise some warriors. You know what, we'll do that. So we have a good force there that'll hopefully... Can I attach them? No allies to give order to. Disband, split. Okay, attach. Okay, so you can choose either that to order your allies to attach to you, which doesn't always wor work. It depends on the situation. Or you can click this little... Uh, link icon to attach to a ally army, your own group. Let's see, a message about request council supports. I suppose everyone wanted council support there for something. Oh, I see where we're waiting. We're waiting for more forces to show up, and now we're in battle. But it looks like we're going to win this battle. My commander is Suleiman. Oh no! Our poor eunuch guy has been lost. Sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your guts is all the warning you have before you are forced to make a dash for the privy. Oh no, I got diarrhea now. <laughs> Total suggests you follow his instructions to combat food poisoning. Oh dear. To rid you of your ailments, Total ordered you to sleep hanging upside down for a couple days. It will rebalance you. And it somehow works. Alright kids, keep in mind, if you have food poisoning, just... just hang yourself up upside down. Alright, we're gonna hire a new commander, because we're kind of running low on our overall number of commanders here. Sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch at your stomach. Oh geez, we are just having all manner of stuff. It's a wonder we're not dead yet. Well, let's seek treatment for this illness. Looks like I have the early stages of dysentery. Well, what are you going to recommend this time? 
carry around the bone of a chicken tied into a small pouch around your neck. It wards off the bad spirits, and it somehow seems to work. At least a little bit. Darn weird pagan guys. Oh, and it looks like King Communism has completely gone to the dark side as far as being a uh, brother of hell. You spend most of your waking hours on the privy, or you frequently pass a loose, bloody stool. You have contracted dysentery. Aye. Got severe illness. Your co court physician shows up and offers you a treatment. He explains there are several types. My life is in your hands. We'll find out anyways. The pot which Total brought with him to your chambers emitted a strange buzzing sound. Oh god. Before you could stop him, he threw it on the floor where it exploded in a cloud of pottery shards and a swarm of furious bees. As your physician fled the room, you remained their only target. <laughs> And somehow this works. Seriously. <laughs> I think I'm going to name this episode Weird Pagan Healing. That just, that seems to be perhaps the best thing. Okay. Our king says I have decided to institute the minimum tribal organization law. All that is needed is to the support of yourself and other loyal vassals. I suppose we can do that. So what's going on over here? Oh, and we finally died. You have a new heir. If your character dies, you will now play as Alexander II. So we are taking over as Jarl Sterla of Steeland. All right, well, what is our current land holdings? We currently have the Jarldom and just the Chiefdom. So it looks like our best bet is probably to try and fight back, try and revoke some of this stuff. Let's see. Can I declare war or maybe not? Because he's actually my vassal. All right. Well, what is our going what is our plan going to be here? Should we focus on war? I think so, cuz that's what our training has been. So we'll do that. How many soldiers do we have under our command? 942 right now. We only have one little province. Oh, that sucks. And it looks like we ought to bring in a bunch of people into our whole setup here. This guy, he would do better as a commander or a marshal. This quest council support. Where's the change option? Not fire counselor. Not transfer vassalage. Okay, let's just transfer him over to be our marshal. Maybe? Maybe he just can't be our marshal. Maybe he's stuck as a <laughs> chancellor for whatever reason. Okay. Whatever. Uh, marshal. Well, let's see. I could make him be my spy master, although I don't like it. I'll make him his. Well, let's see. We got Arnbjorn. He's a bit better as a steward. But communism wants to be, so we'll do that. Spy master. Kraka, your half sister is best. And a seer. Well, we'll do total. And we'll put him back over here to continue converting. Oh, we can't because we no longer have control. Solvi commands it. Although we can make a claim on it, so that's something we could do. And he doesn't have much in the way of anything there, so you know what? I think we're gonna do that. And the council supports it, so we're gonna go ahead and go for it. So next, let's bring forth our military and our, oh, dismiss realm movies. I wanted fleets, that's what I want, okay. My liege, I believe that 
the, one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if proper leverage is attain, obtained. How do you wish to proceed? Blackmail the vassal. Wolfredir. Obligate. Threaten. So did she take over? Was she killed by, uh, whatchamacallit? Well, Obligator, I guess. And she promises not to do anything. You want me to be your advisor? Sure. Oh, hold on. Oh, I guess I don't have any other flanks to put people on. But we're still gonna put someone else over. And you want me to be a commander? Oh, I guess. Eh, I'm not really looking to do that. You are my brother. Although, aren't you the one that I declared war on? <laughs> that makes no sense. The brother that I declared war on wanted my su wanted his support on the council. I am entirely confused, and I actually agreed to it. Why did I agree to it? send our forces here, we'll take over Desmond, and then after that, we won't have to worry about them anymore. And then what do we do with our brother Solvi? I have no idea. Danish conquest of Marienburg on High Chief. Well, where's this at? Oh, over here. Interesting. Not many troops, so it's definitely something that we could get done. What? Sealander War for Communism the Second's claim on Desmond has ended inconclusively? Well, what happened to Solvi? What the hell? Okay, so we got Communism. Solvi is dead to s by severe injuries. What the hell? And also, this is part of my half brother, Alexander II, is part of the Kingdom of Sweden. Oh, there's all manner of weird stuff going on here. My dear Jarl, I regret the events have forced me to sell my hands in this manner, but unless you swear not to form any new factions conspiring against me, I shall have to spread your unsavory secrets to anyone willing to listen. Because I am lustful. You decided it would be in your best interest to comply with this demand. I suppose so. Well, I guess I'll join this war, because we might as well at least try to expand out. Although we got... Ooh. We got a couple big armies around here moving around. That's not exactly good. Let's go take Marienburg with our liege, and then we'll go from there, I guess. Yes, avoid my capital there. <laughs> oh, and I suppose I should probably nominate su successors here. So we have Duralfer, we have Communism, and we have Alexander II. I can try nominating... Well, should I go for Communism, maybe? I'll try, but I don't think it's going to do anything. Although, right now, we are the one that's selected if communism dies. Hmm. Now I'm thinking of evil, nasty things. 
to turn the kingdom over to my command, just take out communism. It would be an option, but I don't have much in the way of plot power that I could bring forth here. That kind of sucks. What happened to communism the second? He lost an eye there. Did he get sick or something? I have no idea. No idea at all. Oh dear, this is not good for this war here because that big force is showing up. Uh, so your total burst into your tent, flanked by several Huskarls, dragging Go Godi Magni of Arhus. He's the Chancellor and Commander of Yeland. Might as well burn him. As long as he's not anyone important for us. Also, so communism is now set to be the new ruler, I guess. Or communism the second is set to be, anyways. Young girly, I don't care about young girly. Let her be gregarious, I guess. Oh dear. Wait, are we actually going to win this battle? My marshal tells me one of my commanders, Sterla, has improved significantly. Like, what commander? Me? Your other Sterla? That is me. So my marshal tells me that you've improved significantly, Jarl Sterla. <laughs> smugglers enter domain. Your incompetent steward has led a smuggler group of smugglers into the county. He's not that incompetent. He should be at least alright. Apparently not. And we have... No, we didn't win. Oh... Sweden. Sweden is just like a total powerhouse right now. That's not good at all. I'm trying to think of how we're going to do this because each time that we go to do something, Sweden swoops in and just takes over. Certainly one option would be to try and do assassination, but we would have to get something going to kind of get that going, because uh, our current liege is no good on assassination. Uh, let's see, how is communism the second? He's all right on diplomacy and that's about it. I can revoke a title from him to take Yeland. Oh, why is no one supporting a plot against him? Most people don't like him, most of his vassals. Alright, well let's look, let's see. I believe one of your vessels can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. We'll threaten him, I guess. This guy over here, and he's got a big army, all things considered. Um. Oh, I really want to just revoke this from him. Revoke the title of. Chiefdom of Yilin for 50 prestige. Because otherwise our only thing is just to try and do something with communism here. Well, let's see, what's our current... Oh, our current uh, goal is to get married. And we uh, still have three more years for that. Ugh. Sure. 
sure, join the spear throwing competition. And communism the second, who's already suffering from <laughs> being one-eyed, is now mangled and severely injured. If he's just not dead soon, uh... <laughs> So Alexander the Second of Desmond. Oh, what's this? This place has decided to uh, break off, and he's got a lot of forces there. What the hell? How does he have so many forces there? Event spawn. That's part of it, I guess. Somewhere. Okay, this is interesting. As I was laying in bed at night, I was suddenly woken by the hissing and growling of my favorite cat. The bedchamber was alive with scratching, scurrying noises coming from the very walls themselves. I sprang from the bed, but the noises suddenly disappeared, and a subsequent investigation of the chamber revealed nothing but patched stone walls. Could there be rats in the walls? Interesting. Okay, so he has a couple chiefdoms. Since the incident some weeks ago, I felt uneasy. I took a walk along the coast to clear my mind and found a small village where the people claim to worship the Old Ones, gods older than even those of the Germanic faith. They invited me to join in their rituals and showed me a dusty old grimoire written by a mad Saracen. That's interesting. Intense study of the grimoire has gained me much knowledge. I have devised a ritual to awaken the most powerful of the Old Ones, where he sleeps, dead but dreaming in his watery tomb beneath the ocean. The cult has prepared the ritual attire and is gathering the necessary sacrifices. Tonight he will wake. I think this happened to one of my ancestors here, as he fought one of the Old Gods. The cult is gathered for the ritual on the shore of a black and stormy sea. The chanting begins. Fenuglio Magula Nof. And in the depths of the dark water, something stirs. He comes, he comes. And then I die. Was offered up in sacrifice to the gods. <laughs> well, Jarl communism takes over now. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you'll play as communism the third communism son. <laughs> And he wants me to be steward, even though I am so completely mangled and all that. All right, I guess we'll appoint more people here. Um, he would do much better I'm kicking that one guy off. Okay, let's bring on falsely confess faith. I'm Slavic. When the hell did that happen? Pick patron deity. Worship the Ancestors, offer to help with liege titles. That could be something. Hold Jarillo Festival. Summon devout warriors. Interesting. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll we'll go with being Slavic for the time being. How's our heir? Our heir is at least Germanic. So let's make sure he has... Let's see. I think I'll have him educate. Take concubine, assign guardian. Communism, the third, to him. Communism the first. I think I'll do that. That might help a little to keep uh, at least communism the third from becoming a traitor Slav. Because <laughs> Tyke has already become one. When the hell did I even become Slavic? Oh, probably because of the wife. Darn women. 
All right, folks. Well, I think this is when we are going to choose to end it here for today. Um, so yeah, communism the second. Not only did he end up becoming, you know, a ruler here. He's also completely mangled. He has one eye. He was mangled in a spear throwing competition. He's at least no longer severely injured. Uh, he's zealous. He's shy. He's not too good on all of his traits there, all things considered. Uh, and also, he's a Slavic traitor. <laughs> Alright, folks. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. See if we can get to the point of taking over as king. I guess eventually we're probably going to have to try and either take out the first communism guy or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. And then the big question is, what are we going to do with Sweden here? I mean, Sweden is massive. Uh, they're bigger, at least as far as all of the size of the place goes. They're bigger than, um, like, West Francia. They're kind of even bigger territory-wise than Middle Francia. That's kind of disturbing. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Also, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so and click the bell icon so you stay notified on all of my streams and videos. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.